Everybody talks about, I knew he was cheating and they looking for cheating, but how can you know he cheating, but you never knew he was unhappy with you? How? Mm, so you're looking for those signs, but you're not looking for yeah. those signs. What, why, 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 why do you look for what somebody is doing, but you don't know when they're not happy with you? Mm -hmm. come so on. come on, I'm like, is yeah. that, is that being um, self-absorbed? You feel like maybe sometimes in relationships, women, because like you said, we know that we get everything just because we're women. So we expect it and we don't want to give the man anything. Oh yes. Time. Women are self-absorbed and, and entitled. And I can say this because I've been doing this work for over 15 years. Mm. They believe because they have a vagina um, and pretty that they and a nice body that they are entitled to being treated a certain way. However, have you ever seen a woman that's beautiful and she looks amazing, her body, everything is together, very smart, but she those type of women always get left for more plain Janes. Yeah. Women and that looking like uh -huh. you chose her. <laughs> Did you see what I was looking like? Because it had nothing to do with yes, what yeah. she looked like and what she came to the table with. It was what she was being to him yes. and how she made him feel yes, girl, in his be. presence. So we see it all the time. But they going out here, girl, thinking that I have to look like this, getting these botched BBLs and all of this, tuck it in, suck it out I'm and all that. Keep my mouth closed. And then on top of that, <laughs> it's like they're they're not I'm doing it for myself. No, you're doing no, it because these men is liking these pictures. <laughs> but here's the thing, Mo, the pictures that they're liking, dude, most of those women don't have a man. Oh, girl, isn't that the funniest thing? The gorgeous women stay single their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Because they oh. never learn the girl part. Learn the girl part. Learn to just be. A woman that has her femininity, mm. her spirituality, and her sensuality all flowing at the same time is a force to be working with. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game, hitting the like button, and if you didn't even start yet, y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Yeah, man, this I I, I had to, I had to start the video off with um with, with with that. I was I was extremely first of all, I, I don't know who this lady is. I believe she looks familiar. I believe I did a video on her. I'm gonna try to see if I can look it up, and then I'll put her name in the description or the title or something like that if I can find it. But she looks very familiar. I have a feeling I did a video about her a while back. But anyway, she said a lot in this video, man. Shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. One of the first things that she said, um, you know, like basically what stood out to me the most is towards the beginning of the video where she was talking about how, um, like how women will do all these things to find out their man cheating, but they won't do as much as those things to try to figure out if their man is happy with them. I'm kind of on a fence about that, man. It, listen, people cheat because, I've said it before, people cheat because they want to cheat. Not because you made them happy or because you made them sad or because you made them, you know, uh, sexually frustrated or whatever the case may be. People cheat because they want to cheat. It's not because you're not doing your job as a man or you're not doing your job as a woman to do that. No, bro. At the end of the day, we are all adults. At the end of the day, you should be able to communicate with whoever your significant other is, letting them know, hey, I'm not happy um, that we're not, you know, going out as much. I don't see you as often. We're not having sex as often. We're not you know, having enough family time is often like, those are things that you should be able to talk to your <clears throat> significant other about. We're all adults. We can't, I can't read your mind. You can't read my mind. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm thinking in my mind, damn, I wish I had more damn hair from this chick. Like how, how is she supposed to know that? She can't read my mind. You know what I'm saying? Given with that being said, in my opinion, this is just me. This is how I move my relationship. But in my opinion, I believe that, I, I mean, I know that these are the things that you want. Um, you know, if not daily, but multiple times per week. You know what I'm saying? So I know for a fact that I'm going to be doing those type of things. But not every woman, not every man thinks that way. I think that way in my relationship, right? I'm thinking, all right, cool. My, my girl probably going to have, you know, she, she going to want to have an orgasm at least three, four times a week at least. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be able to supply that with her. You know what I'm saying? So, but again, I can't expect everyone else to think that way. I can't expect this girl to think that way. I can't expect this guy to think that way. So you have to communicate those types of things. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, again, like I was saying earlier, yes, she she's she is correct. I do agree with her to an extent. I'm kind of on the fence about it still. But at the end of the day, like I said earlier, people cheat because they want to cheat, not because they're, oh, okay, well, I'm unhappy. So that this is going to give me a reason to step out of this relationship and go sleep with another girl or another guy or whoever. Right? I, I think I think that that, you know, in my opinion, that's that's how that's how I'm thinking, man. We're all adults, we all make our own decisions. Can't nobody make you do something but you. You know what I'm saying? You're a grown-ass damn adult. 
some something another thing that stood out to me man was um how she was talking about how a lot of women is very like self-absorbed and this is and this i'm i'm glad that she said this man because this is something that a lot of us men have been noticing right a lot of us men have been noticing this with damn near every single woman it don't even matter how don't even matter how bad or ugly or whatever she is uh, unattractive attractive how however she is it's just like she said she's like yo a lot of these women come out you literally out here coming out stationary they think it just because they got a goddamn vagina they think that they're above this that and the third and when in actuality you're literally just like every other damn woman that i see every single day does their self what she say she said there's um she said self self-absorbed they're damn delusional and entitled because of the because of what between that was between their legs they believe that they're uh, more superior than 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 what a lot of men are and because of that reason it kind of hinders them in my opinion because of that reason it kind of hinder, hinders them um i guess i could say mentally or in a, in a dating world because right I mean, in my opinion i believe men and women are equal okay i don't think that anybody is above anybody else i think my job in, in a relationship this is just my opinion my job in a relationship is to you know pay the bills bring the bread home whatever you got to do her i believe that my girl's job is to you know what i'm saying like t tend to whatever my, my needs is if i need to have the damn house clean or cooked or whatever the case may be then i believe that whatever woman that you're married to should should do that obviously other men don't think that way i'm not saying everybody think that way that's what i think in my damn relationship all right so don't be coming at me in the damn comment section you know what I'm saying, but yeah, man, she it, it's 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 like she said, man. She's like a lot of those girls that that's so self-absorbed and so you know what I'm saying, so so caught up in their own little world. She said it correctly. She was like, "Yo, you see it happen all the damn time where a man will leave them, you know what I'm saying, the girl that thinks that they're eight nines and tens for a quote unquote plain Jane chick." And then the first thing that woman do when they see stuff like that is, "Oh, he's with her. He he's with her. What what? Why he with her?" Nah, nah, nah. And it's just like she said, she's doing everything that he needs her to damn do maybe he wants peace and quiet maybe he doesn't want damn arguing every damn five minutes or something like that who knows whatever it is maybe he maybe that's what he wants so yes the original girl probably looks way better than the girl he's with now but that girl that he's with now is bringing him peace and makes him happy whatever those needs is or maybe it's just a sexual need who know who the hell knows i'm just i'm just saying you know what i'm saying but the, these are the things that um and this is one of the reasons why i believe that men and women are literally living on separate planets because when you have these types of conversations in majority when you have these types of conversations with women their their answers like their beliefs is so damn different from everyone else's man it's it's like it, it'll scare the hell out you bro it will literally scare the hell out you you sitting there thinking like god damn bro like we you know what I'm saying? For example, in my community, because I only date black women. Um, you know what I'm saying? For example, my, my black women, I'll be sitting there looking at them like, bro, why the hell are we having such like we're so far apart when it comes to these types of these types of topics, you know what I'm saying? As far as damn dating. Why are we so damn far apart when it comes to those types of things? And it's just like she said, like a lot of them are self-absorbed, entitled, delusion, and all those damn things, man. So what I can't, I mean, listen. The only way that I can say or either or offer any type of suggestion is for all of us to try to damn come together, black men and black women. I'm speaking in particular to black men and black women to um, to come together to try to be to try to rebuild our community because our community, in my honest opinion, is broken, man. Is many in many more ways than than one. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so broken and far apart, man. It's it's like yo, we have to get back together. And one of the reasons, one of the ways we can do all that. First of all, is marrying each other, having kids in marriage, not outside goddamn marriage. That's first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just building up our building up our marriages, building up the families, having kids, building and then showing those kids the 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 way of um well the way the black community is supposed to be or should be. And just just to add on to what, what they were saying towards the end about how like the gorgeous women stay single, um, I, this is something that I've noticed. Right. In, in my honest opinion, this is something that I've noticed. Um, what we, like, for example, I'll, I'll even do something recent. Um, back when I was doing my, my, my master's, right. When I was in grad school, there was some extremely attractive chicks that, that was on campus. And when I talk to them and I'll get their mindset, their mindset will be so damn ass backwards. Their mentality will be so like, like, you like, you know how they say they're beautiful on the outside, but ugly on the inside. That's literally how it was. That's literally how it was, man. Like you can sit here and do all this crap. Sometimes, you're, sometimes are natural, but let me just speak on the the ones that do the surgeries. You're sitting here doing all these, uh, like she said, BBLs, getting breast implants, ass injections, all those damn things. But don't none of that stuff help you mentally. None of that stuff helps you damn be be able to have a goddamn 
grounded conversation, intellectual, not, not even just intellectual, just a regular conversation. A lot of the times they be sitting here doing all this crap to their bodies. And then when you talk to these damn girls, they're socially awkward. They don't know how to code a conversation. They don't know how to damn, you know, I mean, even handle something as simple as a goddamn compliment. They, they, they get thrown off by stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And again, like I was saying, man, like I, I don't, the way we get all all this crap and in, in, like nip this stuff in the bud, man, we have to be able to come together, bro. Have to be able to come together. It's, it's very, um, it's sad, man, because a lot of women have this damn, this, this damn mentality. Like the woman that she's speaking on in the video, like, um, like a lot of them have this mentality. I wish, I honestly wish we had more women that thought like how this lady thinks. You know what I'm saying? I really, really do. Because if we did, then I believe we'll be in a better position um, as far as, you know, the co black couples in our community. I feel like we, will, we I believe we will be in a way better position ha if we have more women that thought the way that they, that way that she does. Unfortunately, we don't have it that way. So what we have to do is just try our best to repair it. How do we repair it? By, again, like I said, marrying each other. Number one, having kids in, in you know, in the marriage. Not not outside, not not no them in wedlock and all the other crap. No, having kids in the marriage, raising those kids, teaching those these kids these values, uh, um, you know, just 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 all those things, man. I honestly believe if we can do that for at least the next generation, hell, even next two damn generations, I guarantee you we'll be back at being married at 60, 80 percent. Not one or four of our black women get married or one or three black men to get married. No. We were married at 70, 80 percentile damn back in the 60s and 70s. Prior to, um, you know, prior to those years and after those years came for whatever reason, we now we're down to 20, 30 percent. No, man, we need to get it back up to at least. I, I mean, I, I like let me get at least 50. I, I want at least 50 percent, <laughs> at least 50 percent of us married. That, that's that's at least what I'm, I'm not even going to ask for the full, you know, full 70, 80 percent. Let me just get half. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? But um, again, shout out to this lady, man. She, she said a lot. I was trying to break it down like like sentence by sentence, but she was saying a lot, man. Shout out, shout out to her. She used to go again. I'm gonna. Um, I'm pretty. I'm almost certain I did a video on this lady before. I'm gonna see if I can find the video, and if and if I do, I'm gonna put the eye at the top, and I'll make sure to add her name in the in the description or in the title or something like that. All right, man. So um, yeah. So let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. I again, uh, you know, whether you agree or disagree. Again, I, I she 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 covered a lot of topics, man. But I mean, hey. She, I, I believe majority of things she said is, was, was correct, man. So comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell, sit on the side, so anytime I make an upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure y'all hit that like. Make sure y'all hit that share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cub. Everybody talks about, I knew he was cheating and they looking for cheating, but how can you know he cheating, but you never knew he was unhappy with you? How? Mm -hmm. So you're looking for those signs, but you're not looking for yeah. those signs. Why, 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 why do you look for what somebody is doing, but you don't know when they're not happy with you? Mm -hmm. come so on. come on. I'm like, is yeah. that, is that being um, self-absorbed? Do you feel like maybe sometimes in relationships, women, because like you said, we know that we get everything just because we're women. So we expect it and we don't want to give the man anything. Oh yes. Time. Women are self-absorbed and, uh, and entitled. And I can say this because I've been doing this work for over 15 years. Mm. They believe because they have a vagina um, and pretty that they, in a nice body, that they are entitled to being treated a certain way. However, have you ever Ever seen a woman that's beautiful and she looks amazing her body everything is together very smart but she those type of women always get left for more plain James yeah women that looking like yeah. you chose her. <laughs> did you see what I was looking like because it had nothing to do with yes, what girl. she looked like and what she came to the table with it was what she was being to him yes. and how she made him feel yes, girl, in his me. presence. So we see it all the time, but they going out here, girl, thinking that I have to look like this, getting these botched DVLs and all of this, tuck it in, suck it out I'm and all that. Keep my mouth and then on top of that, <laughs> it's like, they're, they're not, I'm doing it for myself. No, you're doing no, it because these men is liking these pictures. <laughs> but here's the thing, Mo, the pictures that they're liking, dude, most of those women don't have a man. Oh, girl, isn't that the funniest thing? The gorgeous women stay single their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Because they so never learn the girl part. Learn the girl part. Learn to just be. A woman that has her femininity, mm. her spirituality, and her sensuality all flowing at the same time is a force to be working with.